What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, aka Allfires. Now, while most people were pretty pleased with what we saw in last night's Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, I saw some complaining, no Toby and no Andrew. But in fact, Toby and Andrew were all over that trailer. And unfortunately for Sony and Marvel Studios, no matter how hard they tried to use VFX to paint them out, they were literally everywhere. And I'm not just talking about that notorious ghost punch against Lizard that immediately was all over Instagram and TikTok. No, no, we have floating Spider-Man arms, the wrong lenses on costumes. Yeah, they tried to just show Tom Holland Spider-Man last night, but the trailer is riddled with evidence of Toby and Andrew. And on top of that ghost punch, we're going to break down all of the Easter eggs that show us that, yes, Toby Maguire and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man are indeed not only in the film, but we're in that trailer and just edited it out. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we are almost at 900,000 subscribers and we're giving away a PlayStation 5, as well as we do daily Marvel content here at the channel. So if you wanna be entered to win, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. If you do stick around to the end of the video, we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So we'll start with this scene right here. As Tom Holland Spider-Man leaps in against Sandman, Electro, and Lizard, a lot of people realized that Electro and Lizard seem to be aiming for something completely different. They're not even close to Tom Holland and Spider-Man. And in the Brazilian edit of the trailer, Lizard mysteriously gets punched by something that isn't there on screen. Now, if you wind this back and insert the concept art that people were immediately making last night, it lines up a lot better if all three Spider-Men are facing off against these villains here. You have one Spider-Man going high against Electro, one going low against Lizard, Tom Holland Spider-Man in the middle, and this would easily account for why Electro and Lizard don't look like they're anywhere near Tom Holland in the frame and why Lizard mysteriously got punched in the face. However, the biggest reveal of Andrew Garfield in this scene has nothing to do with any of the characters CGI or even what's going on in the frame, rather what's going on in the background the scaffolding, we now know that the Statue of Liberty looks like she's getting a shield, a Captain America shield, as an ode to Captain America saving the Earth against Thanos and what the Avengers did to avenge the snap. It looks like that's being added via the scaffolding and that video of Andrew Garfield on a blue background that made its way all the way around the internet and back even had groups like the Corridor Crew breaking down the authenticity of that video seemingly confirmed by these shots as the scaffolding will now play a role here with the Statue of Liberty and there's no way someone who would have tried to fake or defake that video could have known that specific detail. Now the next frame up for contention is when Ned goes to rush and try to save MJ from falling off said scaffolding right here a lot of people noticed as evidence again of masking masking a term meant to use when you are doing something and then you sort of mask something out you put a mask on it paint just the mask you can remove it from the frame look here at this floating spider-man arm again evidence that the vfx artists who were working on these vfx shots in this trailer were having to remove elements mask them out delete them from the footage and just got a little sloppy about it of course the brazilian trailer was a misedit in the frames if that hadn't been in there no one would have seen lizard getting punched However, anybody who's paying any attention could notice that the way that Lizard and Electro were jumping, they were jumping at something else. Here is now more evidence of those VFX artists sort of painting something out, and while that doesn't exactly prove that that's Tom or Toby standing in that position, it does prove that they are taking things out of these trailers, and why would you want to paint it out if it was Tom Holland? You'd only remove it if it's something you didn't want people to see, like Toby and Andrew the way they were painted out of the other scene against the Lizard. And again, huge shout out to whoever edited that Brazilian and trailer thanks a lot you gave us the, the little detail we needed to confirm it on top of all of this now trusted industry insider daniel rpk on one of his two twitter accounts i believe rpk underscore news posted this frame right here and noticed that the lenses on the spider-man costume seem to be a bit inconsistent with what we're used to for Tom Holland. So while they reskinned the suit to look correct, that this might actually be Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. Now I saw a ton of tweets being like, no, 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 that's definitely Tom Holland. Look at the lenses. But I don't know, there were a couple of frames in, in a bunch of this trailer where I thought, well, that doesn't exactly look like Tom Holland in the suit, maybe different dimensions. And I'm going to leave that up to you guys in the community here to do a deep dive on this frame here. If you think that this is Andrew's suit, definitely leave it in the comments. If you can see it in the frames, uh, in the frames on the eyes, like the lenses, if you think that this is Tom Holland for sure, and that this is not a mistake, leave that in the comments as well. There's no denying that masked arm. And once we had the Brazilian edit of the trailer showing Lizard getting punched by nothing, it's pretty obvious that it's going to be Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire in both of those shots, which, you know, listen, they didn't put them in the trailer, 
but they kind of did, and now it's the best of both worlds. If you're waiting for the reveal, if you're the lay fan, it's not out there. It's not everywhere. It's not on the front page of everything this morning. A huge shot of Toby and Andrew. So Marvel wins, and if you're the diehard fan like we are, and you're staying up on channels like mine, then you kind of got the wink, wink, nudge, nudge, hey, they're in there, you're going to get to see it. And we didn't even spoil the moment yet. It'll still be new and fresh when we hit theaters. I know some of you are frustrated by this, but look, look, this isn't any different than what we've gotten all year. Even maybe more proof that Sony has been doing this on purpose, that this entire year, all of the leaks, starting with that original three Spider-Men in one Latin America leak, all the way back a year ago in December uh, on the Latin American YouTube channel, all the leaks throughout the year, the 4K video of Andrew Garfield on set, it just seems like this is the most genius marketing ploy of all time. They basically didn't spend a dollar in marketing, didn't even have to put a trailer out until a month before the movie came out, and it's the most hyped movie of all time. And now in this final trailer, they've done what they've done all year. Not actually give us official confirmation of Toby and Andrew, just a wink, just a nudge, unofficially, hey, oh, we made a mistake. Oh, we posted that trailer by accident. Oh, the 4K fit footage for a couple of seconds of Andrew got out. Oh, we forgot to mask out that punch in the Brazilian edit. At this point, so many mistakes, and it just feels like it's on purpose. I don't know, is the Patsy in? Guys, you guys let me know your thoughts on that for sure down in the comments. Uh, some of you have already agreed with me wholeheartedly on that, but I'll leave all of this up to you. A, are you hyped? B, did this trailer let you down? Or are you okay with the way that they did this? And C, have you ever been more sure that Andrew and, and Toby are in this movie? I'm 100%, especially with the frames we've seen today. Is no question. Let me know all your thoughts down below, guys. Quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we are literally right around the corner from 900,000 subscribers where we'll be giving away our next PlayStation 5. We've given away a ton of consoles at the channel. We will continue to all the way up to a million. If you want to be entered to win, all the same rules will always apply and for future prizes. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me over on Twitter and Instagram at I Am Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes under the name All Fires with Original Music. I appreciate you checking me out there. Thanks for checking me out here. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.